John Charles Fremont or Fremont was an American military officer, explorer, and politician who became the first candidate of the anti-slavery Republican Party for the office of President of the United States. During the 1840s, when he led four expeditions into the American West, that era's penny press and admiring historians accorded Fremont the sobriquet the Pathfinder. During the Mexican-American War, Fremont, a major in the U.S. Army, took control of California from the Bear Flag Republic in 1846. Fremont then proclaimed himself military governor of California, however, for that he was convicted in court-martial for mutiny and insubordination. After President Polk commuted his sentence, Fremont led a fourth expedition, which cost ten lives, seeking a rail route over the mountains around the 38th parallel in the winter of 1849. He retired from military service and settled in California. Fremont acquired massive wealth during the California Gold Rush, but he was soon bogged down with lawsuits over land claims. Between the dispossession of various landowners during the Mexican-American War and the explosion of 49ers immigrating during the California Gold Rush, these cases were settled by the U.S. Supreme Court allowing Fremont to keep his property. Fremont became one of the first two U.S. Senators elected from the new state of California in 1850. He was the first presidential candidate of the new Republican Party, carrying most of the North. He lost the 1856 presidential election to Democrat James Buchanan when Know Nothing split the vote and Democrats warned his election would lead to civil war. During the American Civil War, he was given command of Department of the West by President Abraham Lincoln. Although Fremont had successes during his brief tenure as commander of the Western armies, he ran his department autocratically and made hasty decisions without consulting Washington, D.C., or President Lincoln. After Fremont's emancipation edict that freed slaves in his district, he was relieved of his command by President Lincoln for insubordination. In 1861, Fremont was the first commanding Union general who recognized an iron will to fight in Brigadier General Ulysses S. Grant and promoted him commander at the strategic base near Cairo, Illinois. After the Civil War, Fremont's wealth declined after investing heavily in purchasing an unsuccessful Pacific Railroad in 1866. Fremont served as governor of Arizona, appointed by President Rutherford B. Hazen served from 1878 to 1881. Fremont, retired from politics and financially destitute, died in New York City in 1890. Historians portray Fremont as controversial, impetuous, and contradictory. Some scholars regard him as a military hero of significant accomplishment, while others view him as a failure who repeatedly defeated his own best purposes. The keys to Fremont's character and personality may lie in his being born illegitimately, his ambitious drive for success, self-justification, and passive-aggressive behavior, early life and education. Fremont's mother, and Beverly Whiting, was the youngest daughter of socially prominent Virginia planter Cole, Thomas Whiting. The colonel died when Anne was less than a year old. Her mother married Samuel Carey, who soon exhausted most of the Whiting estate. At age 17, Anne married Major John Pryor, a wealthy Richmond resident in his early 60s. In 1810, Pryor hired Charles Fremont, a French-Canadian immigrant who had escaped from a British prison, to tutor his wife. In July 1811, Pryor learned that his wife, Anne Whiting Pryor, and Fremont were having an affair. Confronted by Pryor, the couple left Richmond together on July 10, 1811, creating a scandal that shook city society. Pryor published a divorce petition in the Virginia Patriot, in which he charged that his wife had, for some time past, indulged in criminal intercourse. Mrs. Pryor and Fremont moved first to Norfolk, Virginia, to live as a couple. They later settled in Savannah, Georgia. Mrs. Pryor financed the trip and purchase of a house in Savannah by selling recently inherited slaves valued at $1,900. 
When the Virginia House of Delegates refused Mr. Pryor's divorce petition, it was impossible for the couple to marry. In Savannah, Mrs. Pryor took in boarders while Fremen taught French and dancing. On January 21, 1813, their first child, John Charles Fremen, was born. The son was born out of wedlock, a serious social handicap. A household slave called Black Hannah helped raise young John. In 1818, Fremont's father Fremen died, leaving Mrs. Prior to take care of John and several young children alone on a limited inherited income, Mrs. Pryor and her family moved to Charleston, South Carolina. The young Fremont was known to be precious, handsome, and daring, and he had an apt ability at gaining protectors. A lawyer, John W. Mitchell, provided for Fremont's education, and in May 1829 Fremont entered Charleston College. Fremont continued at Charleston College, while teaching at intervals in the countryside. He was expelled from the college for irregular attendance in 1831. Although Fremont did not graduate, he had been grounded in mathematics and natural sciences. In Andrew Jackson, His Life and Times, W. Rands wrote that Fremont added the accent of the and the T to his surname later in life. But in John Charles Fremont, Character as Destiny, Andrew Roll wrote that Fremont began using the accent in 1838 at the age of 25, relying on Pierre-Georges Roy. Roll relates how Charles Fremont was originally named Louis René Fremont, born in Quebec City, Canada, on December 8, 1768. He had changed his name to Charles Fremont or Freeman to avoid pursuit by British naval agents. Thus, John reclaimed his father's true French name. After attending the College of Charleston from 1829 to 1831, Fremont was appointed a teacher of mathematics aboard the sloop as Natchez. In July 1838 he was appointed a second lieutenant in the Corps of Topographical Engineers and assisted and led multiple surveying expeditions through the Western Territory of the United States and beyond. In 1838 and 1839 he assisted Joseph Nicolet in exploring the lands between the Mississippi and Missouri rivers. In 1841 with training from Nicolet, Fremont mapped portions of the Des Moines River. Marriage to Senator Benton's daughter in 1841 John C. Fremont married Jessie Benton, daughter of Senator Thomas Hart Benton from Missouri. Benton, Democratic Party leader for more than 30 years in the Senate, championed the expansionist movement, a political cause that became known as Manifest Destiny. The expansionists believed that the North American continent, from one end to the other, north and south, east and west, should belong to the citizens of the U.S. They believed it was the nation's destiny to control the continent. This movement became a crusade for politicians such as Benton and his new son-in-law. Benton pushed appropriations through Congress for national surveys of the Oregon Trail, the Oregon Country, the Great Basin, and Sierra Nevada Mountains to California. Through his power and influence, Senator Benton obtained for Fremont the leadership of each expedition.